So now I'm gonna go into how to disassemble this, clean it, reassemble, and retime to get your preferred setting for this lever. So the first thing we're gonna do is set up the anvil to disassemble it. The tools that you're gonna need, it's a 7 ths and just something that is pointy. Uh, you can do a knife or just a small punch. Uh, cloth, and if you want to, a little bit of CLP. Uh, you can also use water, you just have to dry it out afterwards. So the very first thing that we need to do before we take off the lever is we need to get this clamp lever facing up in the air with the flat side down. So all you do is you put it into the fully unlocked position with your free finger, hold the moving jaw shut, put this up to 90 degrees, just spin it 90 degrees as well with the flat down and point it up in the air and let go of the moving jaw. It'll stay there. Uh, that is with these new anvils with the lever that has all the holes. With the older ones, if you do have an older one that doesn't have any of these holes here, uh, the only difference is this handle needs to be uh, facing up in the air with the flat side up. Next step, take your punch knife and pull out the little gasket that's covering up the screw. You should have replacement ones that came with it. Here's where your uh, 764 is coming handy. Mm -hmm. Loosen up this screw. It's going to fully come out. Once that screw comes out, this lever, the main ball lock is going to be able to lift up and come off. Uh, a good thing to do with this before you take it all the way off is to put it on like a wrench and unloosen it so you can you can get this screw out much easier. Once it's pretty loose, you can finish it up with your fingers. Just pinch the two halves and loosen it up. This comes out. And then at that point, the ball head will be able to split open. So next step, after this is all apart, you'll have your ball still be in the bottom half, the O-ring. To get the ball out of the bottom half, you have to pull it out through the top. And the whole thing is gonna be unassembled. You don't have to do the uh, lever release clamp. You can just open that out, um, flush it with water, and then blow it out with air and dry it. Uh, it doesn't need any oil. So to clean it, you just take your rag, clean off the head, clean off the rings, this area, the ring and inside the body, uh, and the screw. You don't have to use oil, but if you want to, you can put a, oil, a little bit of oil or CLP on the uh, main screw and then just on the outside of the ball. To assemble it, you have to put the bottom through the opening, push down, put the O-ring slightly offset towards the opening here. When you pinch it shut, it's gonna pull it over. So just make sure it's level up and down and a little bit offset. Grab the upper half, lower half. The lower half has this little shelf right here. That's where it fits right in there. Just put it in, pinch it shut. Then with it pinched shut, you just take this and you start putting it back in by hand. If it's too tight, you can use the lever to do it yourself. At this position, you should be able to move this pretty easy back and forth. This is when you can time it yourself. So with the lever, um, you use this as a wrench. So put it on top, shut it. Uh, that was a little bit too weak. So just shut it all the way shut, reposition it. You can go a whole 180 degrees if you want to. Put it back on top, shut it until you have the highest strength that you want. Lift it back up, 
and then just reposition it into its fully shut position. Once it's in that fully shut position, take that screw, the very first one that you took out, put it back in while holding it pushing down with your index finger on the lever. Tighten it, finger tight. If you let go with your index finger and you do that, it's just gonna open the lever. So it's not gonna strip it out. You don't have to worry about that. And then you've retimed it. So you can open it, you can put your rifle on top, feel how your the movement is. If you want a little bit stronger, just go through those last two steps over again. And that's how you time it yourself. Uh, for the disclaimer for this, you can time this until this bottom and top half touches of the clamshell touches. Uh, if you do that, it's gonna avoid the warranty uh, and it's gonna be extremely hard to move. So you're gonna, you're gonna understand how to do that. But that's simply how it is to uh, take it apart, reassemble it, and retime it. For more information on the Anvil or any of our other products, go to soar.reallyrightstuff.com. You can email me at mhennel at reallyrightstuff, or my direct phone number is 385-248-0800. Thanks for watching.